And let's hope everything doesn't break on me. Also, is he still going? Damn. God damn, even. All right. Uh, my ducks are in some semblance of a row. And I have this open, yes. Yeah, so let me go ahead and just minimize and I'm off. Oh, uh, I should get dinner out for tomorrow night. I probably have one of, one of those all-in-ones tomorrow night. I'm, I'm talking to myself. Hi, anybody out there in the internet? Fantastic start. Checking if everything is optimal on the side. Proceeds to body himself in HD. Case in point. Wow, I definitely should not be playing Tetris right now, should I? Play around, get all the kinks out of my system. Wow, everybody's just on the defensive today. that either holy cow okay there is a semblance of a rebound I'm sloppy. Like, I'm actually playing kind of sloppy right now. <laughs> kind of isn't even the right word. I am actually just bad at the game today. Why am I infinite wisdom? I just decided today is the day to play Tetris. I could not tell you. I actually need to get in there and dig myself out, please.
damn. Oh. I have properly balanced water bottles again. How much longer? No, 27 minutes on that. Processing takes a while. I need to call for a haircut tomorrow. I'm just I'm mumbling to myself right now. Fuckowitz, what am I? Oh my god, I'm being attacked. Okay, but actually settle down. Holy hell. Craftsman. Hope you're having a good evening. Oh, I lost the lid to my water. work out fine. Mm, that won't work out fine. Like my brain just powered on. Well, everybody just actually wants my poop. That's that's amazing. Go 
cut some losses here. Don't worry, I have a genius plan. Plan's slowly fleeting out the window. Well, it's coming back for a rebound. Oh my god, I actually have like a god of Tetris just targeting me. Was this guy like what was he like I saw his line but I'm like it does sometimes like I'm gonna follow this up and see what cuz it's like if you can see it on your screen I know it's not as big as what what I can see but like between 73 and 92 the one right next to 73 that's the guy Huh. Like, I don't know. I still, like, I heard about it a while ago, and I still have my suspicions, but I can't really say that they are actually founded in anything, because I could, it's just me being salty, but I heard rumors a while ago that some people are using, are using, uh, like, cheat programs to send unprecedented amounts of garbage towards people. I'm just waiting for the time somebody gets like one sophisticated enough to be like, oh yeah, this this person in this match is uh, streaming, uh, has a uh, connection on his IP that is that, or has a connection is connected to Twitch right now, actively feeding data to it target them above all else you know stream sniping effectively okay now watch this dumb play ready now see it looks like I'm floundering in the wind a bit right but as soon as I get out of it I start throwing garbage like crazy this is the don't bully people strategy I have partially pan uh, patented it. Lily, if somebody decides that you're a target to bully, you just start dropping garbage on them. Like, it, like their name's the Garbage Man. I've gotten so many kills in this game just dropping the Trash Man to strat on them. And here we go again. As I proceed to w dwindle my chances away with that one move. Here it comes. There it goes. God damn. Oh. That's just in the that's just the music in the game that's playing. I don't have any custom music playing right now or anything, unless there's some YouTube video window in the background we'll go with that I don't know about. But no, there's, um, no, that's not an actual targeting option. That's like a, that's like a hacker, hacker. That's like a script kitty thing uh, where they like, they look through IP addresses and see if IPs are casting out different little things. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm, I can't remember if we've talked before Craftsman. My memory is terrible, first off. But I will also say that I am kind of dumb. Like, I'm your, I'm your favorite knucklehead in any game that ha that can't take subtlety or like contextual hints at all. I don't know why I thought that would work. Ah, 
I why I think that square was in my next one. That's okay. Just gotta calm down again. Alright, now that's the hill I'll die on. Which is going to come sooner than later, probably. What's the cool part is we haven't got to it. Oh, I, I flopped it. I flopped it a little bit. I got it. Bring it back. Uh, I totally forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Why am I in the top 50? This is not going well. start to the night mm. that was the other part I don't know if it's like I don't know if the actual name of it but like it's there's like two versions of the Tetra song in this one that you're hearing a lot of times right now and then another one that, sp that plays it like the sped up version when you get the 50 players remaining but when it's 10 players remembering uh, re remaining was 10 players remaining it plays flight of the bumblebee or at least a remix of it and it's terrifying because it goes from like normal flight of the bumblebee to like a minor key and it's it just messes with your psyche so bad Put on attackers. We're not doing anything yet. Wait, wait for the it's the moment. I'll strike at the moment here. Hold on. Uh, poop. here it comes. Ready? Now there'll be one or two people that are still going to be targeting, but I'm still going to be sending out so much garbage. And there, and here they come. The the chaos. <laughs> And I finally, and I finally perpor, performed. The, I finally performed the bully strat for the first time in the stream. I'll probably do it a couple more times. Hey, bully the bullies!
Sure would be nice if I could dig down to my stuff. I seem to have spectacularly walled myself off from my own building. I can now breathe a little easier. I'm a little more composed because I don't have everybody on my case. And I, <laughs> after after finishing up the bullying, but this is now about the point where everything's going to start getting really fast. Well, it's still rather slow right at the moment, but it's going to get fast. Okay, wait for it. Now, send them every bit. Yeah, it's a, like, just listening to it, it's not that great. But, like, in the context of the game, it helps set, like, what's going on very well. I have successfully bullied the bullies. <laughs> Now we'll keep it there. Keep it going. All right. He's going to play. Oh, shoot. That was this one, wasn't it? Ah, oh, damn it. I couldn't get out of there. Yeah, multiple times, actually. I... This is actually a little embarrassing, because, like, like, average, I at least place top 20, but a lot of times, I'm in top 10. Like, it should have... Like, unless my brain has decided to completely leave my head tonight. I should get to... I, I should at least be in top 10 a couple times this evening. But the thing, the thing about it is actually winning, because that's probably the, like one of the harder things to do in any battle royale style game. Is winning in this is uh, I don't want to say it. Winning in this is like playing. Is like winning in Puyo Puyo if you've ever played that game or playing any of the versus Tetris Tetris games like uh, Tetris DS or anything like that. Tetris is that kind of game where it is horribly easy to master. Or horribly easy to, to learn, but mastering it, that ain't happening anytime soon. Well, now I'm just sad. Well, now I'm even sadder. I feel like I lost myself in the conversation a little bit, so... Oh, I made a horrible mistake. Okay, I somehow came back. I was starting to set up my strat, and then I, like, immediately saw... Oh, I don't have a... I don't have a line piece in my reserves. That's bad. Oh, that's bad. Get one more in there. 
Wait, like I killed somebody? When? It works better here. Okay, so something I can talk about now that my now that I've got myself back on track a little bit is you're seeing on the lower right of my screen there specifically that I've got uh, chevrons. Uh, what that does is that is the more of those I have, the more garbage I will send or or in this case or right now block when I get. Uh, uh, as I go throughout the game. So right now I'm sending 25% more garbage to my opponents. So getting early KOs is nice, but that's also there's a double-edged sword because if as you also notice up there, there's an option to attack those with badges, which I guess is another name for the chevrons I have. Okay, send me the bad. Oh, are you kidding me? I didn't get over the wall. Fixed it. And if you know this stuff, just tell me to be quiet, because I know I over-explain stuff a lot. There we go. That was not the piece I wanted. Neither was this. clear out so bad damn it okay <laughs> yeah that's the job of let's play talking when you shouldn't be talking uh I've only played single player mm. um Tetris DS I guess doesn't explain it too well, does it? Like, Tetris GS has single and multiplayer. Uh, lines you clear, wherever you clear them on your board, is going to go out to whoever you're targeting, whether it's random people, attackers, people with the highest badges, or looking for KOs. So, the lines you clear go to somebody else, which is a, which is a double-edged sword, because it's like, you're sending bad stuff to them. But if you send so much bad stuff to them, if you send enough bad stuff to them, it's all got like one line in the middle. You just drop a line piece down there and you end up sending the garbage back out. 
So it's not so much points in this, it's, it's more surviving <laughs> the onslaught. Because like, like you see, there's 99 other people here. Uh... Oh, hey, my brain started working. I'm, I think I've seen your com. I think you're seeing your comments in my videos. Now my brain works. I'm a smart cookie. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Also, I'm more vulgar in real life. Or I guess more in live, live, live audience instead of editing format. Okay, that guy wants to give me the poop. Okay. Let it go through. Okay, it's going to come through now. Erase all that. It's nice to know that I'm enough of a threat to be targeted by every single Tetris god in tonight, online tonight. Flopped it. Salvaging it. Hold on. I wasn't kidding before when I said I have a terrible memory. <laughs> this is your brain on too much video games. Yeah, I see the merit. I, I'm just like reading your comment outside of my eye. Hey, whatever you do to pass your time, my, my guy. Um, but no, I see. I was I was kind of like that for a long time too, where it's just like, oh, everything happens. Everything happens on YouTube at some point, so I just stick to YouTube. But there, there's like if you have nothing better to do, there's some merit to watching it live on Twitch. Even though none of this stuff. Even though none of the stuff on Twitch ever come, go, not the, the stuff on Twitch usually doesn't make its way to the main channel. It makes it to the, the uh, secondary channel, which is all my Twitch stuff, like just unedited, replayed out. Like, is it lazy? Yeah, but it basically has people who don't want to leave YouTube, at least enjoy the streams to some degree, even though they're up, even though they get the video, the, the stream, quote unquote stream, like half a month later. I guess, is it closer to a month right now or is it half a month? I've lost track. And I, and unfortunately I haven't really, like, I haven't really most of the community I have and know comes from my YouTube page, so I haven't, I don't have much of a foothold in with people here on Twitch or know anybody spe uh, specifically through Twitch yet. But good to spread boundaries a little bit. What I'm saying is, I talk too much. <laughs> now, excuse me while I get bodied. Ah, oh, damn. 
Also checking up. Okay, it's processing. That's good. Oh. My lips flap, but my brain don't keep up half the time. My brain done barked. Oh, good. Do this twice. Also, don't mind me. I'm definitely not playing a got, uh, gotcha game on the side. Nope, definitely not. As I slam my phone down. <laughs> There's a, uh, I guess it's on that topic because now you got my brain running on that. There are some people who started out on YouTube that moved over to being exclusively Twitch for one reason or another. And I don't know, they're probably some of the, oh, that's what I want to do, but I may have fluffed it a little bit. Okay, I can fix this. Hold on. Yeah. There's some people who made content specifically on YouTube a while ago, but now they feel like They've either branched out to multiple platforms or they're or they've like gone from YouTube specifically over to Twitch without much without much care for one or the other. Actually, I think a lot of the people who started the whole let's play craze. Yeah. A lot of people, uh, the people who started the Let's Play craze back in the yield time when I was when I was a wee lad. Wee lad, by the way. Apparently now I'm like, apparently I have a, a Scottish backstory or origin story. Um, you know, like, well, everybody knows him, Proton John. Like he started out on YouTube, and then like after a while, he's moved like primarily or almost exclusively to Twitch. So, but yeah, you'll, you'll be impressed who you find that are just living on Twitch only and don't really come over go to YouTube anymore. I'm going to keep it in that. Well, I think... This is definitely not a roast, a roast bit, by the way. But like, there are some people who I, who I thought were the funniest people on YouTube, who came over to Twitch. Well, Proton John was one of them, but um, the uh, uh why well, can't I think of his name on it? Uh, Ray Narvaez. Like when Ray was working with at Rooster Teeth and all that jazz, like he was probably the funniest person they had in their building. And then he started streaming on Twitch and started getting a following over here. And now he's just like, yeah, I'm kind of Twitch exclusive now. Well, he's not Twitch exclusive. He puts re he plays, uh, replays of his streams up on YouTube now. Man, I'm just a jammer John tonight, aren't I? Bounce back in a weird way. Ooh, and I'm losing frames. Cool. <laughs> it's my computer losing frames, really. I am the attacker's good. Yes, load me up with garbage. Hit me. And it's all coming right back. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you too enjoy trying to dick me over because it's now coming back in the big way.
Oh, attacking me, Jojo. <laughs> or rather, approaching me, Jojo. Follow me like Kono Dioda. Be careful, Scooter. Your inner weave is showing. Doesn't watch JoJo. Still quotes JoJo. I'm a wreck. <laughs> That's a lot of bad. This is what I, okay, play the bumblebee. Oh, damn it. Uh, Ray Narvaez Jr. Uh, he used to work, well, I mentioned he used to work at Rooster Teeth as, uh, well, part of because they caught because they started off with like their red versus blue, and I think they were just in, like no, they hadn't even started Ruby yet. Red versus blue was their major thing, and then they saw, oh wait, people like this whole let's play craze. Let's make let's take our own group of people and do Xbox stuff, let's plays primarily. Occasionally, they occasionally do Nintendo stuff, but that's when the boss is out of town. So. Uh, Ray got what was working for Rooster Teeth or Achievement or actually primarily Achievement Hunter who put out guides of how to get specific achievements in games. And after a while of doing it, like just getting the footage, not really talking, not really being on the mic, he had to tell his boss at the time, hey, I can't do this from I can't do this and for free anymore. I need to get paid, otherwise I'm gonna get thrown out of my place. He moved house down to Rooster Teeth's office in, in Texas. And they started up a Let's Play channel sh like about a year after that. And he was like the highlight because he is dry as hell humor. <laughs> Moody Jazz. Oh, I got destroyed by Jazz. Yeah, and I... I haven't watched season five or is it five or six. I think I stopped halfway through five and I haven't seen season six yet. But I also followed Ruby. There we go. Regardless. But yeah, it was like right about... It was like... I think about half a year after uh, Monty Ohm died. The original uh, screen screenplay writer for Ruby... Ray left, uh, Ray was, or I guess while he was still an achievement hunter, he started doing a, stuff on Twitch just on the side because he was bored. And then he started getting a huge following on Twitch to the point where he had to basically work two jobs, you know, part of it on Twitch, streaming to Twitch, and the other part of the time working at Rooster Teeth. So again, he got to a point of, I can't keep doing this unless I get like some kind of middle ground to work with. Unfortunately, I don't think he got... I don't think he was given that opportunity. All right, I don't think he was given that uh, bypass again. So, not like in a disrespectful way, by the way. I don't think he was given the opportunity to do that again. Where he could say, hey, I have to be this... I have to do this, like, most of my time so I can only work X amount of days here at Rooster Teeth. Or Achievement Hunter, or whatever that shit. They, I guess they made a, a channel called Let's Play. All right, I'm gonna get slammed pretty hard right here, unless I counter it a little bit. Bad heat. He started doing this. He started basically doing what I'm doing full time. Uh, well, still doing his whole achievement hunting thing, which was kind of his passion. But he also, like, just playing around. Against, I think I'm dead. I mean, Goonies never say die, but still, I think I'm dead. Why doesn't anything trigger? 
Oh, damn it. Yep, that's it. Um, that's the thing about Ruby, though. Okay, I'll finish the Ray story. Ray works on Twitch now primarily and uploads his clips of games to YouTube, mostly unedited. Basically, if, uh, hey, if you miss the stream, you can watch it there. And about after about two years of him doing that, a lot of us on YouTube are like, oh, that's a smart idea. Let's start doing that. So now there's a lot of people, myself included, in the last year who's like, when we upload to Twitch, we save the recording, we put it up on YouTube on another channel or in another subsection or something like that. <clears throat> anyway, the whole thing with Ruby not being up on YouTube, that's their, that's their, cause they're a company. They can't just stake everything in YouTube. So they have their own, they have their own website now where the first week, anything like the first, whenever they release anything, it's up on their website, up on their website as like premium content so to say you have to buy to you have to buy on their website to watch it when it's first released but if you wait a week it then gets uploaded to youtube except for a while there when uh when season four was live they wanted to try and keep it like they basically kind of try to turn their backs on the thing that made them what they are and not upload anything to youtube that was their animation And tried to basically say, hey, if you want to watch it, you got to go to our website and pay the money. That didn't boil over so well because I think they bled a lot. Of, they bled like a lot of followers, like all over the place. To the point where they are like, okay, ha ha, just joking. It's up on YouTube again. Just a week later. Okay, attackers. So if you, and I know they start working out brand deals where like they got, they've got it going on Ferv now and everything. So more power to them that they're basically not doing an all the all their eggs in one basket deal, which is kind of the dream for a lot of people right now, especially with how uh, shifty YouTube's getting here and there. But no, I I don't hate them for doing what they do, trying to not put everything in one basket. Bully the bullies! So, but... I guess I tell that story to tell you that, hey, if you, if you really don't want to pay the money for that service, and if you have some patience, wait a week, unless you have like a bunch of friends who also like watch it with you on that service or whatnot, then just keep going with it. Ah, yes, friendship, the greatest the greatest common denominator for why we do things. Uh, ah, ball sack. Also. Also, Craftsman, uh, you, I guess... Because this is your first time here, uh, watching one of my streams, <laughs> from instead of see, instead of watching stuff I do on YouTube, uh, you're kind of currently getting a sneak peek of what my setup is right now <laughs> on uh, YouTube coming up. Because after Wind Waker's done, I Wind Waker. Well, actually, there's another project that's much later on in my libraries, but Wind Waker is uh, Wind Waker is the last 
of the current main series projects that's going to be using this micro that's going to be using my old microphone i switched over to this one i'm using right now oh i'm dead so like i've got a f i've got a fancy microphone I keep all I keep all my old recording stuff in a box for when I travel too. But uh, I was using. Oh, it's all tangled up in there. I forgot. I was using a Samson Meteor mic. So, it might not seem that clear right now, but I can definitely tell you just from what I've done, it is a little bit quieter than my other mic, despite adjustments I've made. <laughs> but this is the closest. This is the closest we get right now. Or this is this is the hot loudest it's going to get because if I don't do this, I'll peak whenever I start yelling or trying to talk over video game audio or video game music. Go at it again. Goddamn. You gave me a topic and I just fucking roll. <laughs> I just now realized I spent the last half hour talking about Rooster Teeth. Hi, Farf, reminding me of the last thing I said before I left Puddles. <laughs> Did that get cut off at all, by the way? I, I'm curious. <laughs> oh, that's a bad start. That was... Dude, I'm, I don't have many bits, but when I have them, oh damn, oh damn, God. I'm a slave to courage, the cowardly dog. All right, we're going to relax over there. Uh, oh, excuse me, I'm foul. And I would do anything for love. I would do anything for love. I would do anything for love. But I won't do that. Horribly off key. That's supposed to be really higher pitched, isn't it? Like, I was, like, three notes too low. Man. Don't do any singing for a couple of years, and all of a sudden your voice takes a crapper on you. Huh. Are you one of it? <laughs> Here it comes. Here comes the bullies. Ooh. And the bullies have been bullied. Spam your Rukop. Uh, 
which is bad because I haven't done like any voice work. I haven't done voice work for Charles or I haven't done like any, I haven't done a lot of things like more than just talking in my voice in many years. So like my singing voice is starting to go. What little of the singing voice I had. It's sad. Cause I'm a good, cause I know I'm a good singer. Uh, let's do this hole. Put anything in these holes. Well, we're playing fast and loose today. That's it. Damn. I feel really bad because I, cause I, cause I think he's still here, but I promised Craftsman I would show him like, well, I did show him a top 10, but I, prom I would tell him my average is like top 10. But right now I haven't done much better than four, like between the 40s and 30s tonight. Then again, this is kind of prime time for a... Like out of the three of us, I, uh, out of three, wow. I promised I would show like top 10 more often, but yet here I am floundering. Here I am fishing the floor. Also in before, did you bring some fish? Oh, Hearthstone, what happened to you? Oh yeah, Ben Brody left. Oh. I see the train has approached already. That was the wrong, almost the wrongest move. Stop. We're going to settle down. I'm going to build my little tower over here. I'm going to have my little bit of fun. And you said fun's not allowed. Got it. I got you. Hold on. All right. You heard the you heard the man. No fun allowed. Pack it up. Pack it in. Let's be begin. I came to win. Battle me. That's a sin. All right. Come on, let's rock and roll. That was the wrongest play, but okay, I can bounce back. Watch this, and we're and we're back. <laughs> Morning. Morning, Mama Jelly, I guess. Have you been... Young lady, have you been asleep this whole time? Why would you do this? Why would you do this to Batman? I'm Batman. I'm not... Probably the farthest thing from Batman, to be real with you. Oh my god, he wants my poop! Oh god, he actually wants my poop. Oh, I missed, damn it. <sighs> Doing very bad tonight. It's primed. How many hope to hit? 
I'm happy and mad I have this button all at the same time, always. <laughs> uh, you know, I know it's I know it's gonna sound bad because I'm like painting it as a you. I know I'm painting it as a you don't have anything better to do with your days, but all right, Craftsman hasn't seen it yet. Oh. So I don't use it on YouTube, Craftsman, but uh, as soon as I get out of the little bit of bind here, I'll show it. Yeah, Mama Jelly's got the pictures of it there. Uh, I have, I am a lucky owner of the nut button. The nut button is as grotesque as it sounds. It's a button that you just slap anytime, anywhere, and it goes. And again, I'm going to sound like an asshole, but, uh, yeah, I know it's a dumb, it's, it was a dumb, it was a dumb purchase, but it ended up becoming kind of a staple here on Twitch. <laughs> um, for the folks at home, it's, uh, it's a, it's a delightful treat. It's, uh. They get to ex have the experience of pressing the nut button. But unfortunately it doesn't make any noise. Huh, I'm making a hole. I'm digging... <laughs> I'm digging a hole in Minecraft right now. Hold on. Okay. This is getting better. Mm, over here. Wait. Is this a rare moment where nobody's attacking me and I have a moment to think? I think it is. That's a bad thing. Because I'm going to start doing degenerate stuff here in a minute. Like, uh, failing up this placement. Come on. Yes, attackers. That's fine. Hit me with what you got. We bully the bullies. Subsequently, my favorite my favorite move in Smash Brothers is the counter ability. It's not. You love a good nut. Okay, we're building this way now. setback but it's all it's all good everything is daijoubu everything is still daijoubu and slam bam wham bam thank you ma'am get on the floor and jam <laughs> sir you are going to relax god damn why do you want my poop so bad? No, wait, he doesn't want my poop. He's after the nut button. He knows the source of my power. Uh, I know the source of my own power, apparently. <laughs> As I proceed to almost screw myself.
All right, hold up. Got this. Store that. Climb over. Actually, I want to do another thing. Okay, this will work. Panic setting thick. Okay, we're building this side now. Oh my god. People just can't just get knocked down already. that that's bad that's I just made it worse Damn it, no, that's third place. <sighs> Damn. I was on the road to success and then I didn't rotate my line piece out of the hole. Oh wow, this guy on the right is, did I even have any KOs? I got the third place with no KOs. I was fighting people who had like 75% garbage up while I'm sitting here with no percent garbage up. I think it deserves a good. Not. Apparently you can't just drop this thing. Yeah, the Japanese, this is like, what does Seth say it was, 16 hours? 16 hours from now, one way or the other. So it's... So either it's... 2 a.m. for them, which is not like... This is not correct, or... It's... 4 p.m. I... Th I think that's what he told me how time works between where I am and where he is now. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, in Kyoto it's... In Kyoto it's currently like 4 o'clock, so a lot of the people are getting off of work or getting off of school. I think I've told that story on stream. I think I've told that story on stream before. 
about about the whole history of Tetris in Japan, but I guess I can kind of repeat it. The skinny is, a lot of people in Japan never play Tetris. I got a KO already. A lot of people in Japan didn't play Tetris until Puyo Puyo Tetris came out. And then they started labbing the hell out of Puyo Puyo Tetris. Like, they put the lab coats on. They started blaring back to the lab again from, from that Dexter's Lab short on Cartoon Network. Messed up. Back to the lab again. Oh, no. So, yeah, like, everybody in Japan now is just, like, god-tier Tetris, even though they nobody really played in Japan until, like, two or three, uh, two, two years ago. Damn, that's hard to think about. Japan never really played Tetris until Puyo Puyo Tetris. And now the Puyo Puyo Tetris is out, they're gods. The Switch is ushered in an age of death. Okay, that's bad. I say no. Man, that's a game I haven't touched in forever. I haven't touched Puyo in forever, mostly because I'm bad at it and people will, will wash me two, three ways to Sunday. Uh-oh, uh-oh, damn it! I didn't switch. That's true. That's a possibility that, I said his name before, but Seth could possibly be playing, could be playing Tetris right now. Uh, Craftsman. I don't think, I think Call of Duty was a Cephazen friend of mine that kind of helped me get introduced to some people I know now on YouTube and I'm currently friends with. He is currently working in Kyoto. Flu like mostly fluent in Japanese. Working in Kyoto for I think a modeling firm? Kind of as their PR person. But yeah, he's what he's the one that told me like the whole time zone thing, really. How he works in a modeling works for models or modeling firm in the first place, how he got in there, I could not tell you. Man has a silver tongue. And I love him. My nerves are going. I don't know a lot. I can like sing some, I can like sing parts of songs in Japanese just because I've, I've read into it. I've told myself I want to learn Japanese by one point, but I keep procrastinating on doing it. I need to clean up really bad. Like, uh... God damn, the only song I can really think of right now that I know better than anything is actually Big Sake, if anything, from One Piece. Alright. Pressure's on. I have to make a big combo here. I've never gotten an all-clear. That is my first all-clear. Uh... Those big sake go again. Big sand of same wa, torque da yuku yo, bare wa. And I lose it after that because I haven't looked at the lyrics in forever. It's really weird, like especially with Japanese, if you're trying to like imitate it, like you basically have to tell yourself there is no, there is no C's in this language. There is no C sound. Everything is a is a cut or a ch.
Uh, do this, do that. Wow, that's probably the weirdest set of garbage I've probably sent out ever. I'm just clearing. I'm just cleaning up. Anime. Oh man, I miss Gaia. I mean, she's not. Gaia's not like gone with the wind, but she's having a, a little bit of like a personal thing, so she's taking a little bit of hiatus from the internet. Just so she can get her head clear. But goddamn. Gaia, the founder of Anime Titty. Ooh, that was almost a bad move. Watch this drive. I don't have any KOs, do I? Oh boy. Oh boy. Eh. Give me this. Oh, that's gonna be bad for me. Ah, oh, damn. Uh, Lucky, so he's not dead. He got burned out on the YouTube game. I guess more or less the uh, 3DS recording game. 3DS recording game. Like, this isn't his 3DS, this is mine, but... Oh god, it's dusty as all hell. It tells you how much I play with 3DS. He basically... Because his whole, his whole catch to him was... I stream 3DS... I stream portable games primarily... And then he started branching out into other formats, and then he got to, and then he came back to portable games with the Pokemon Ranger series. And he accidentally saved and couldn't sh when he was pr doing when he was going through his practice file. And in order to show everything, all the footage he needed, he needed to replay like all 20 hours of the game he had up to that point. And that was kind of the final straw of just like, nope, done. But Lucky does still stream. Uh, I think I auto-host him. Like, he's at the top of my auto-host priority. on, f But he streams on Friday nights on Twitch, too. Lucky's been streaming uh, the 999 game. So, nine doors, nine peoples, nine exits, whatever that is. Okay. So the sec I think he was on the second Pokemon Ranger game of the series. Shadows of Almia, is that it? No, I think he was on three. The third game. But yeah, like he was halfway through and he's like, okay, I can't keep this up anymore. It's I just yeah. He hit a point in that where he could not go back. At, where he had to redo like 20, 30 hours worth of work. He's like, uh, -uh I done. But yeah, like I said, um, He's been streaming a lot of visual novel games and other fuckery with us around. Well, me, Tamal, Guy Crusher 9, Illu Weaver, uh, Ceiling. I think it's most of us that are there. I think maybe K Man, uh, K Man Rules 1331, I think is his tag. I can't remember. If... Or is he better known as his Carmomatic now? Um. He might come in and just chew the fat with us, but like we we'll we'll play he'll play like he will play like a lot of visual novel stuff or random multiplayer stuff. And he uh yeah. And he does that every Friday. He's kind of he and he he goes for like six to eight hours every Friday. But yeah, he's like I suppose he, he's told me this and I and I suppose he's said it before, but like he's kind of in a phase of he still likes doing this where he likes having interactions with people, but he's currently in a phase of finding himself. 
sort of. Um, does Monster Prom count? Because that's about as close as I'll get to playing a dating sim game. But then uh, I like Monster Prom, so it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a bad thing for me playing. I would actually enjoy myself. Hello, Sugar Frosted. Okay, I actually need the blue piece. I can't keep building over here. Show me the blue. Yes, the blue. I'm going to assume you had a little bit of a typo. If not, I don't care either way. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Yes, I have multiple lives. Lives. Make sure you heard that right. Lives. L-I-V-E. I know what I know what Twitch can do in the distortion. Um, no, I'm not much yeah, I well, you're kind of sharing you're kind of sharing your preference with me like that eh, I'm bad at this. I'm not much about dating sims because, as is c case right now that you're hearing, I have, I have, I am very bad with contextual clues and conversations. So me streaming a, fuck my ass sideways. Me streaming a dating sim game is would be hilarious, but I will guarantee you I'll repeat the same five mistakes over and over again and it get, it'll get to the point where nobody's having fun even the people that are here to watch me suffer Okay, it's definitely the fuck scooter hour. Holy cow. Huh, I'm digging. I'm digging deep. Also, there's I saw something about Katawa. I don't know if that was Katoa Shoujo or something else. Why do I know Katoa Shoujo? I don't speak Japanese, so why do I know that term? Eh. I just killed myself. Yep. Uh, okay, I'm going to pull... I don't know what screen it's going to pop up on, so let me do this really quick. Display capture... Open my Steam. I died it. Um, if it's... If the games in question you are talking about... By the way, you're going to see how many games I have in my library. If your suggestion is learn Japanese to survive Hiragana Battle and Katakana Wars... I have both of them already. You can still, if you want to, you can post the Humble Bundle link. I don't care.
I don't care if you post the link for people who are curious about it. I got that I got that bundle of games for two dollars via fan gamer like three or four months ago. If it's more than just how to learn Japanese to survive, I guess I'm Yeah, um Yeah. Actually I'll pull it up on my on my webpage right now because I'm curious what you're talking about. Humble bundle. Uh, I want to see what bundles are we looking at. Strategy, web programming. Oh god, they have a lot of bundles now. Learn a new language. I'm on, I'm on the page now. Uh oh man, this is a lot. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. This is a lot of like uh like European country translations, which I'm not all that interested in right now in life. Maybe in the future I could I would be, but right now I'm not. It's uh, ger it's like German and French and things like that. Okay. All right. So you want to play board? I too love the basing of the balls. What is that, Rolf? It is the art of discipline. <sighs> Fun. I'm screwing myself. But I appreciate you mentioning it, uh, craftsman, because learning, because having more than one language on your belt is a really, a really good skill to have. Especially in today's day and age, where communication across seas is incre is getting incredibly easier, much easier by the day. Uh life is life's mostly okay. Uh, I am, I don't have much, much, uh, interesting going on in my life right now. Cause I'm currently, well, I say this a lot now, right now, but I'm currently laid off from work. So I spend all my, I spend, whenever I'm not like prepare, prepping my brain mentally for a stream, I'm getting all my building blocks in place or I'm getting, I'm getting like a bunch of like projects recorded in advance and recorded. I'm gonna target me. You know what? Now you die. I also hit the wrong button. Uh, I'm working on a lot of like YouTube projects on the side, so I've got some stuff going up in advance. When do I don't? When don't I have videos up in advance? By the way. Um, right now I'm working in, right now I work in a shipping facility. I guess transferring of goods. I work in quality assurance for it, but I don't do a lot of the uh, qual uh, quality checks. I actually, a lot of the work I do is providing my, co is like going out and getting the products we need to look at for quality assurance checks and giving it to my coworkers. So I'm I'm the, I'm effectively the muscle of my department, but because I'm still on temporary status somehow with what I know, and yeah, the fact that I'm that I'm still listed as temp, a temp employee, means they can only have me for a couple uh, like not eight or nine months out of the year, and then regardless if they still need me, they have to let me go. For three months out of the year. Otherwise, they have to make me full time, and that creates budget issues for the company.
say, unfortunately, I'm, I should pursue my knowledge in IT more. I saw somebody do this once. It won't, trust me, it won't be as flashy as when they did, but I'm going to do it. I should pursue my, my knowledge in IT a bit more. Or at least get it to a point where I can be hired. But I know that my I'm hard headed enough where I don't I don't problem solve very fluently. My my idea of problem solving is goddamn piece of shit start working. Bam bam bam. Oh, I don't have it yet. I take the Bam Bam Rubble approach to my problem solving. Oh god, not this one, not here. Damn it. Yes, okay, you said it right. Yes, I am the QA gopher. And like when I pick up stuff, like, oh god. Okay, this is not a flex. This is me just saying exactly what I do. Uh, I have the, I have Hollow Knight. It's not on my list of things to play right now, but I do have it, so. So just for example, I grab my George Foreman for no good reason. Like I go out, like I have to go out and, and the company says, okay, we have to look at 13 of these and make sure they aren't like crappy and rusted or nothing is wrong with them. So I go, so I go out, I grab 13 of these off of a pallet somewhere, having a cart, having a wheeled cart with me, grabbing 13 of these, throwing them all in the cart in their boxes, wheeling it back so they can look at it and then putting them back out. Ugh. Or it can be something as small as, or something as small as, hey, we have controllers in, we have controllers in from work. Go grab 14 or 14 of the controller, the PS4 controller packages and bring them over here so we can look at them. I go out, I grab them all, I grab them all off the cart, put, I grab them all off the pallet, put it on a cart, take it back, that sort of thing. That's what I do all day. So, like, I'm constantly lifting anywhere from like one to 20 pound packages all day and walking about nine miles a day on average. <laughs> all the old people in my department are, uh, are okay with it considering I am, um, I'm not skinny or I'm not fat, but I'm overweight, but I'm still like, I'm built like a workhorse. Six foot two and 340. <laughs> But I also have computer knowledge. Like I, I have a friend help me build my computer because he loves to do that kind of stuff. But if I didn't have friends help me build my computer, I could. Fuck. If I didn't have a friend who helped me build my computer, I could probably, with a little bit of time, sit down and build my own computers and shit. And I know a little bit of back end coding for like starting up, for like installing. There we go. Like for installing OS's on computers and stuff like that. Oh, shit. I fixed it. Okay. We're gonna relax over there. And if I had just like taken some initiative and actually like use my brain for a minute and actually got my credential or got my actual physical paperwork that says yeah this guy is certified to work in IT if I had actually stayed in school long enough to grab that paperwork 
I could have an IT job without much question, but I dropped out. At least have my associates in IT at this point. Probably one of the weird, probably one of the things I regret a lot of times now in life, even though I should have regretted it when I was making this decision, is I regret not, not at least telling my school, hey, I want, I want to finish up what I have so I can at least get my, my, my associates in IT so I can just leave the school and be done because this is not working out for me, but I've gotten so far, I've gotten to this point where I am now. I think I mentioned it. I, I mentioned it to my neighbor across the hall. That's the fucking... I'm an idiot. I should have been doing that class. I should have done that class when I had all this knowledge fresh in my head. Ugh. One of my teachers uh, was like... He, my, one, of my te one of my teachers I had at my college was... Like, he was one of the guys that gave A-plus certification tests and, like, te and like uh, um, corrected them and all that shit. I should really take that test. So that way I can at least say I have some, I have some kind of credentials to my name that says, yes, I'm allowed to touch your computer. No, I'm not going to go look at the weird stuff on there. Yes, this is, yes, this is me being truthful. No, I'm not trying to just get your data. Yes, this is a yes, this is a real phone. No, I'm not alone. Yes, this phone's plugged in. Oh, jeez, I forgot to pay the electric bill again this month. Shout out to the three people that, that remember Homestar Runner. <laughs> Exactly, Mama Jelly. See, you know exactly what what awkward tangents I'm gonna get on. Also, that's not a requirement that you watch Homestar Runner. That is just me reminiscing about golden, quote unquote, golden age of the internet. Where if you wanted to watch a funny cartoon, it was usually Homestar Runner. Or taking somebody over to Newgrounds. And not a prank a prank channel vid. <laughs> I said the bad word. I've, I'm in danger. <laughs> Professor, uh, Pre Professor Messer. This guy has some good free resources for IT services. Okay. Yeah. I allow links, just don't get, don't get like, don't get weird with them. The system is, I can't do a strong man voice. Oh man. I've already finished my 10, my, uh, like my 10 year. I've already finished my 10 year anniversary video for YouTube, so that's out there. But at some point I do, I want, when I have enough time again, I want to make a, uh, I do. 
I do think it's, I should, um, I do think I really should do that video I suggested a while ago of my, li my, uh, draw my life internet edition where I just, I draw like how my whole life started on the internet from here to now, because there's so many places that like all of us have been to that I've also, that I went to, but it kind of, I don't know. It feels like a cool idea because it's nice to see where where a lot of people, especially somebody from your age of the internet, like got a lot of their inspiration starting out or how they got to be the quote unquote internet funny man they are now. I use I use big air I use big air quotes in that because everybody says they're internet funny man, but only about three are. And I'm not one of them. Okay, I could be one of them. But I forgot to pay my electric bill again. <laughs> Another home star runner joke in the bag. Oh, a lot. I still talk to Lucky a lot. Like, you know, we're good. We're good friends. We still hang out and talk a lot here and there. Um, it's not just when he streams. I suppose nowadays, it gets, it gets, especially when I have to go to work, when I'm in my work, when I'm in my work months, it gets incredibly hard. To, it gets hard to talk to everybody because I have to be awake at most days I work. I have to be awake at 5 a.m., 5.30. When, what is my alarm? I'm checking this right now, by the way. Oh, my alarm's over here. Clock, 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 clock. Oh yeah, that's that. About 10 years ago, that's when I used to go to bed too, Mama Jelly. Uh, my alarms, no. 5 a.m. I wake up if I when I have to go to work I wake up at 5 a.m. and because a lot of us had a had a mutual friend who lived in Germany for a while a lot of our sleep schedules got screwed up because we were trying to hang out and talk with her but now we don't have her as a mutual friend anymore nobody does actually oh okay not nobody does a couple people do still have her as a mutual friend St regardless the point of the story is my sleep schedule used to be bad enough where 5 a.m. I saw 5 a.m. on the wrong side of it a lot for a lot of my life, and now I see it on the right side of my life whenever I do see it. And anybody who knows, everybody knows my history, probably can discern who I'm talking about to do. Cool. I got, I got, I got no beef. Wow. How can I, how can I bring up my past and make myself sound like a, like a criminal while still being vague as possible? And this is why I talk on the internet for a living. Not even a living yet. Okay, we're gonna relax with these wombo combos. That's it. Nope, I'm not. Okay, I am dead. Bruh. Bro, dude. I wish I had a bank to rob. <laughs> no, I don't wish I had a bank to rob. God damn it. Payday 2. Payday 2 on Switch, by the way. Um. Oh, right. There's another game coming out on Switch. Like, is it in my recent tweets?
No, it is... Okay. Well, Duck Game is coming to Switch. There was another game that's coming to Switch, like, this week. And I can't remember what, what, game, that, what game that is. It's a port of it. It's a port of an indie game. Uh, it's going to drive me bonkers here until I remember it. Huh. I seem to have built a great wall of, of doom. Everybody leave me alone. I'm confused and I'm scared and I don't know and I don't know how to get home. Mom come pick me up. I'm scared. Oh, that's the that's a bad move. I don't know, that turned out very well. Is it that's not the same good move, is it? That's gonna be the good move now. I'm following, I think I'm following the context, but I'm also going to just chalk it up to an innuendo and move along with my day. And sweat awkwardly because I am actually a very, <laughs> like I put on, I know I put on a facade a lot online, but I'm not, I'm very innocent actually. <laughs> Uh and it's not Binding of Isaac, that's the game that came out. Uh. Wow, how did I bounce back out of that hole? Wow, what a hole. Oh shoot, I should have put that in the hole on the right. Uh, I guess we're building this way now. Delicious. Oh, shit, that wasn't the red one I had earlier. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I'm in danger, aren't I?
as the Smash meme has been the last few weeks. Talking a lot of shit over 0% for someone over 0%. Ah! Okay, hold Chief. Get it in there. Oh god, that could take me. Take it horribly out of context. <laughs> I say words and then I think. Uh, okay, now go this way. Thanks for the mini teaspoon. Ah, uh, I didn't want to do that. Game is bully. Yeah. Uh. Play it smooth, Scooter. I was one too early for this. Damn it, second place. Uh, Box Boy is one of them. Uh, can't remember. Maybe if I look at my Switch, which I forgot, which I forgot was hooked up to the internet, by the way. <laughs> Shit. I'll fix it in a minute. I'm not sure why I'm deciding to go on this way to do this, by the way. I suppose so I don't have to uh, censor my password. I, I'm not going to lie. I completely forgot Tetris 99 was on the Switch because I was in that moment. <laughs> but now I can easily enter my password and look up like upcoming releases. Uh, oh, this one. Uh, apparently Unravel 2 came out today. Oh, hey, there's Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon. Coming soon. Don't tell me, just don't just show me Nintendo games. Okay. on princess guide well, why am i doing it on here i could probably put this back in the switch and just show you things now oh, my password's gone oh that's it i think that's the game power rangers battle for the grid what the hell is the collector's edition even cost 40 bucks goddamn uh, another anime game. <laughs> Wait, pre-purchase for 40% off? What the type of game is this? Pre-purchase for 12 bucks. It is... Role-playing combat? Hack and slash. I, I doubt it.
high Alex kid randomly in this list. Oh, that's what it is. I saw this, I saw this earlier while we were in the uh, while we were in our little call. Cell Damage HD is coming to Switch this week. That's the one I saw. It's it's Vigilante Eight. Oh man, there was so much talk about that game. Oh, War Master's coming to Switch. Neat. There was so much talk about that game, like in the, because it initially came to GameCube. It initially came to GameCube. Then it went to. Yeah. It initially came to GameCube. Then it went over to PlayStation Two eventually, and then it got an HD re-release on Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. And now it's come. And now the HD is coming to Switch. That's weird. Super fighting robot. Oh, anyway, how, how long has it been? Almost two hours? Oh, I suppose. I did start late in the first place. So I think that will about be it for today. This is also kind of a weird last second makeup stream day because I fluffed so hard. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll take my second place and walk away. And just so, like, if you're still here, Craftsman, just so I don't sound like I'm I'm bluffing, there's my stats. I'm at almost... Uh, well, no, this was a... This was a... Shit, I was uploading stuff, but I didn't start my uploads early enough in the day. Moment. But yeah. Um. So yeah. This is the part where it's question time. You have questions, ask them of me. Um. Seeing as tonight was a Degenerate Hours stream, Degenerate Hours, um, I posted on Twitter what you guys would like to see. Uh, Thursday, when I come back to streaming, hopefully I won't have another headache because I hate it when that shit happens. When it's like, I'm going to stream half an hour early, half an hour for a stream. You have a headache and you want to go to bed, lol. Um, Thursday, 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 Thursday is definitely more Persona 4. Um, for anybody who hasn't been following, in Persona 4, I am, in one day's time, I finished Naoto's Dungeon. So, I am, so I am post Naoto Dungeon, but not Naoto Recovered timeline. In the game's timeline, I started I started Naoto's Dungeon on September 17th. I finished it on September 17th. Oh, I popped my neck. Oh. All right. Okay, Xandalicious. The spelling is not the same, but that just make me, that makes it sound like the Xander Mobus saying that. Do you find me, Xandalicious? And Luma? <laughs> Xandalicious and Luma. And Fighting Polygon Dong. <laughs> I'm terrible. All right. I don't see any questions. So, yeah. Thursday, normal start time is 7. I'll make sure not to be uploading anything at that time. You guys get a farewell. Oh, right. Rating. Thank you, Farf. Uh, I think Charles is still arting. 
boy arts and i've been trying to raid him but let's see who's actually live on my feed right now yeah he's still arting okay uh charles c bernardo is animating his a smash ultimate uh animation he's been working on so i'm gonna send you over to him uh, make your raid message whatever you like it. I mean, I know a couple you have available to you, but if you want to make something more fun, like something Tetris related, I don't know Tetris jokes very well. So I'll send you over there. You can go watch him animate. Uh, he's unless he's changed it up back to his uh, unless he's changed everything. I think he's changed his music for tonight from. Sonic vocal Sonic music to K-pop like he usually does you'll be listening to lovely crush 40 while he animates a smash spirit board animation featuring Zelda he's put a lot of effort into this anyway <laughs> 